Are you a lifelong fan of General Hospital? Are you a new fan who wants to know more about the history of the show? Do you enjoy talking about the show with others? Do you find yourself yelling at the TV? Is your self-care an hour a day in Port Charles? If so, we invite you to join hosts Amanda Kimmel and Shannon Coach at the place where all the hidden conversations take place and secrets are revealed. Meet us at Pier 54, the podcast. Hi. Hi. Welcome to the General Hospital re- recap of September 9th through 13th, the best day in September. The first first the first best day in September because then the second best day in September is my daughter's birthday. Very so, true. Yeah. I get the first half, she gets the second half. Very nice. Yep. You have got it on Friday the 13th this year. Friday the 13th and a full moon. Nothing better. That's awesome. Yep. But we can talk about that later. Yeah. Let's get into what happened Weekly last week? Stuff. Yeah. I felt like it was another just laying the storyline week. There wasn't anything. These are my notes. Exciting. Yeah. I have about the same. Half of one sheet, and actually part of it is also my notes on what to say today. All right. For other stuff. So. So how about we start with Julian and Brad and the whole Wiley drama? Yeah. I think I forgot that Julian did not know that. Oh. Did you remember that Julian did, I did not? I Yeah. When it happened, I was like, oh, yeah, that's right. You don't know that that's Michael's kid. Right. That was the one secret that Brad actually didn't go around the hospital screaming. What do you think Julian's going to do? I don't know. I know he has to be tempted to take over right now. I know he does. But he's over that now. Yeah. I think that he's actually maybe going to tell Sonny. I maybe. Don't, or he's not going to let Brad get away with this. That would be crazy. I don't know, though. I don't know what Sonny will do. We will never see Brad again. I was going to say, Sonny might kill Obrecht and Brad. I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see it what is. happens. because It is. I thought whenever he started pouring her those extra heavy drinks that he was going to put something in it at first. And I was like, no, Julian, mm. you're better than that now. But he didn't. He just knocked her out. Yeah. He hung over Lisa was funny. Yeah. Lisa was just funny now. She is funny. I, mean, it's, I really like how they've changed the writing. Yeah. But for her, she's hysterical. I like that she called Sasha out, too. Like, are you dumb? You right. don't want to do this. You will be everywhere, and someone will investigate your stuff. And Sasha's mm-hmm. like, oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Right. She's not very bright. Well, Lisa said something that I've been thinking for a while. She looks like Britta. Oh, she does. So is there a chance that she actually is related somewhere, then? How? I don't know. I don't know. She didn't have a dad growing up, right? I have no idea. They don't, really don't talk don't about talk. it. No. But she talks about her adoptive mom that's not really her mm-hmm. adoptive mom, right? I mean, it is well, her adoptive mom. But but the thing is, we don't know if it's her adoptive mom. She could legit be adopted. Right. That's what I mean. Yeah. But her mom, she doesn't talk about her parents. She talks about her mom. Yes. So I would assume that there wasn't a dad. So she could be one of the... Hmm. I just always assumed that because she was talking with Nina about it. And so she was talking to her biological mom about her adoptive mom instead of her adoptive parents. Because I, I don't think she makes it sound like she has a dad. Hmm. Well, because they don't talk about her biological dad because he's. Yeah, but I feel like you talk about your adoptive parents the same way that like your kids would talk about you and your husband, like not calling you parents like on an everyday way. If they were talking to their friends. About rules that you and your husband made. Mm-hmm. They would say, my parents said, no, I can't go here Friday night or whatever. They wouldn't specify my mom and my stepdad, right? I'd actually really be interested to know the answer to that. I don't think they would. My kids, at least I know, say anything that happens over at their dad's house when they're talking about it, they say my parents referring to him and their stepmom, mm-hmm. which is fine. And then anything that happens at our house, they just say my mom because I'm the only parent there. I'm going to need to ask. So I feel like... For her, she would have said, my parents raised me to blah, 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 or whatever. Okay. She wouldn't say just my mom and totally exclude her dad if she had a dad. Hmm. I feel totally so, wrong. Just the way that people talk, I feel like that's right. how no. that would go. Yeah. So who would her dad have to be? Who's Britt's dad? Faison. Faison. Yeah, I don't know how. I don't know. It's making my Does brain Faison hurt. Does Faison have any brothers? Because it wouldn't be Faison's. She wouldn't be Faison's daughter. They wouldn't be mm-hmm. sisters. They would have to be like cousins. Mm -hmm. Although that was a weird comment to make that you would think you and Britta would be sisters and not cousins because they look so much alike. That was a weird comment. You can look a lot alike with a cut. Yeah. To a cousin, even though you only share one half of DNA. Or right. Whatever. Hmm. Sometimes I want to write new storyline here yeah. and 
I don't know how it's going to go. But I thought it was funny that she was like, yeah, you know, you cannot be a model. That will be researched. What are you thinking? Hmm. So you think she's honestly going to tell Michael? She I do. Saying. I think that possibly Obrecht might walk in or Valentine is going to walk in. Probably Valentine. Mm, so I think Nina would walk in. Mm. I think she's going to tell him. I do think that she really, really, really wants to. Mm-hmm. So well, he does deserve to know. They're getting pretty serious. Mm-hmm. Not no strings attached anymore. Exactly. All right. What else? Drew is super manipulative over this whole plane down thing. Frank and Drew is very manipulative over this whole plane down thing. Mm -hmm. He did not stutter with, I'm going to take this. Yep. You know, and run with it. Kim fell right into it, though. She She fell right into it. She did. She's not very bright. Elizabeth confronting her. I was so thankful that Liz kind of didn't go as crazy as I thought she was going to initially. Mm -hmm. And... But I feel like Kim didn't defend herself very well and say, Cameron only told you half the story. Yeah. I did push him away and say, no, Elizabeth's my friend and all of that. Mm -hmm. I don't think that that's going to hold much water as the story progresses because she seems way too into Frank and Drew (laughs) to keep pretending like nothing's going to happen. Right. But she did say the right thing the first day. She did. I just, I was just thankful. It seems like Elizabeth is not going to hate her. She's not happy with her right now. Right. But she's not going to turn her vengeance on True. Him. True. How we have seen in the past when someone gets in the way of Liz and one of her men. Well, it's easier to hate the other it woman. Is it all is all gloves. Man. Oh. Apparently Liz has learned not to be mad at the woman. Not her fault so much. Well, especially in this situation, though, because... Right now. I feel like right now it's not her fault. But if she keeps pursuing mm-hmm. this, definitely some responsibility needs to be had. Because you know right. that's not true. But like she told Monica, he knows how to kiss her. Mm. You know, it's... I'm not saying that it would be easy to walk he's away. He's in there. And now that the body's gone... Yeah. Think, okay, do you really think Drew's dead? No. No. If no. we don't find a body, they are coming back at some point. Right? Yeah. Exactly. So we can just get that out of the way. Right. Don't know how long it'll take, though. Come no. Back. I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> Do you have an idea for a podcast but don't know where to start? Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Anchor is such an easy way to record and edit a podcast, and you can do it from either your phone or computer. Best part is you don't have to worry about getting it out there. Anchor distributes to many platforms, so you can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, and many more. You can start making money right away without having a minimum number of listeners, too. Anchor really is everything that you need to make a podcast all in one place. This week was kind of blah. It was. Yeah. Mm. I don't really have much. I think that they should have Robin talk to Joss. Oh, that would be good. I thought the conversation with her and Michael was so sweet. Mm -hmm. Where he talked about being sad about the baby. Losing it. Yeah. Duck pond. Right. How unfair it was. Can we please get Wiley to Michael soon? (laughs) It is killing us emotionally. It was, that was super sweet. And I mm-hmm. thought that her leaving school was an appropriate reaction. Like, I mm-hmm. felt like the whole way that that played out was appropriate. Yes. That she would go, and it would be too much, and then she would leave, and think Dodge that her parents, parents. were going to kill her. Yep. Yeah. And for them to try to explain. The whole relationship between Jax and Carly is still so freaking weird, though. Yeah. I feel like if your ex said to you, can we go out to breakfast with the kids to discuss kids' stuff? And purposely excluded your husband. That would not go down okay. If they didn't get along, I could understand. If my husband hated my ex. But if your ex was so concerned with you all the time, I feel like that would start a lot of issues. My husband's not Sonny. True. But he's not like Sonny. Like, he doesn't get that. But I could understand, especially... Well, no, because Jax treats her well. He treats her well, but he asks... Some stuff that I feel like is crossing a line. I wouldn't be okay if I was married and the ex-wife was like, oh, no, let's just us go out to dinner or breakfast or whatever to discuss the kids. When the kid's living in my house and Mm -hmm. I'm overseeing half of the parenting, Yeah. no, I need to be in on this conversation. Especially where he's been on the other half of the world most of her life. Exactly. They're used to tag teaming this thing, texting, co-parenting or something, you know, so it's not... 
Yeah, I'm glad that he wants to be involved in whatever she's dealing with and that he's present now. But that doesn't exclude the fact that Sonny has been who's been there the entire time. I thought Sonny approaching her at Charlie's was yes. very nice. Mm-hmm. You know, and he's a good stepdad. He's a good he dad. He is. You got to give him that. He is. So on General Hospital's website, uh-huh. they have, remember how they did um, all the nurses ball recaps? Mm-hmm. Well, they have one right now, and it's all Sonny's children. Oh, wow. So I have not watched it yet. I will have to watch that. But He has a lot of them. Like does. Ava said it the other day. Yeah. And then there, there weren't even good quotes this week. No, there wasn't. Yeah, she was mad, but she didn't say anything. Normally, she's a little wittier. Right. And so she was putting him down, but she didn't even have a good witty comment about all of his children. No. I thought Olivia giving Rocco a glove was completely... Oh, inappropriate yeah, and horrible, I thought, especially after everything that Lulu just said to them. Mm-hmm. And the fact that she didn't even do her research very well, because even Rocco was like, Dad, you already bought me a glove. Like, mm-hmm. why would he get me another one? That's stupid. Right. That was ridiculous. Um, poor kid. Do you, you think it's Lulu and the driver, teacher, dude in the state room? Oh, yeah. Totally. Okay. Oh, yeah. That was great, though. That was I love that scene. That was my favorite of all week, because really? it was like... I'm really sorry. And she was like, no, I didn't say stop. Like, right. come here. I feel like he has an agenda, though. I still feel like he has this underlying agenda. Maybe. He would made himself too present in their lives too quickly. Yes. It wasn't appropriate for him to be at that birthday party. I did like Olivia's response to him, mm-hmm. though. But, I mean, who it, was that? She, but her son divorced Lulu. Exactly. Lulu has the right to move on. Exactly I, what I was just going to say. Yep. I agree. It feels a little quick to be introducing the kids and having them at family birthday parties. But at the same time, well, he wasn't invited to the birthday party. He just wound up being there. Yes. Okay. So different. It is different. In a public place. Cause why wouldn't you have a nine year old party at a bar? That's the best place to have birthday parties. (laughs) Does that hold Rocco is now? I don't even know. I don't know. Oh, how about Curtis going to Laura? Well, the Helena stuff. I think it's a smart move, and I like her negotiation, where every day that we're working on this is... Me too. You have to tell I'm me something else. I'm glad that she wasn't just like, here, let me tell you everything that you need to know. Because sometimes she talks too much, and she wanted to know yes. why. And if we're getting involved with something that's going to help Spencer or hurt Spencer, she needs some information. Absolutely, because she's his guardian, even though he's never around. <laughs> but maybe She has to keep him far away from Valentine. Yes. So, But maybe not soon. Right. So if they find this piece of paper, yep. everything will change. Yep. So, yeah. I don't know. My favorite part was Lulu. I, I wrote Lulu and ride chair driver hot and heavy. Laura walks in on it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I do feel kind of bad for Curtis now after he mentioned, like, that's where Kiki. Right. Yeah. And I was going to walk in on. Oh, well. But that's why I think that the teacher dude has crazy intentions or underlying intentions because of all of his knowledge. Yes. About. I didn't like the vibe from Trina and Josh, Josh talking about how hot he was. It felt like. Pedophile-ish? Or not, like, I mean, he wasn't pursuing them, but like they were going to try to be just a little too flirty. And I mean, I totally yeah. get having a hot high school teacher like brightens up your day. But at the same time, just the way that they were talking, I hope that she doesn't like develop too severe of a crush on him. Oh, and she's grieving right now. Yeah. And is she going to act out in an inappropriate way? Right. Shoot. Please don't do that. <laughs> but seriously, in all seriousness, though, please don't do that. Because there are, yes, that does happen where the student does approach the teacher. But right. there I'm not are saying so he's many. going to take her up on it right. at all. But if they have that happen, I mean, there are so many teacher predators. Oh, yeah. That. For it to be a flipped with the student being the pursuer, seriously. Right. Yeah. So hopefully it's just a crush. But yeah, I, I don't know. The way that they just worded that and like their body language, I was like, no, no, girlfriend, that's your teacher. Knock it off. No, you're right. And why did the rest of them all, how did the rest of them all skip school though too? They all got out. It was, Were it they done? at the end of the day. Okay. I, I think it could have been. It was afternoon. It felt like to me they were done because mm-hmm. I don't see Deb skipping because he was saying how great of it 
day he had. Or mm-hmm. maybe Cameron and Trina got out a little bit early. Maybe. But Dev stayed all day. I'm, I don't I'm know. positive Dev stayed all day because he was talking about how wonderful. Of I a just day hope he had. that they get Joss some help. Me too. Michael said Joss did that. Mm hmm. But not just a grief support group, like one on one. Mm hmm. Process this stuff. I don't know. Alexis and Julian saying goodbye was weird. I, the reason I just got there is because I was just thinking that Kim hasn't told Joss that she's moving. Oh, right. And then. Alexis and him were weird. It, that felt like too much of a goodbye. It was too personal. going to come back. But it was too, I thought they were going to kiss. I did too. I think I would have been okay with that though. No, we <laughs> just got together with Neil. <laughs> I like the bad boy chemistry there between the two of them. But he's not even a bad boy anymore. I know, but I don't know. I mean, he has to hang around just to be able to see what happens with Wiley. Mm-hmm. So they can know. send Kim with Frank and Drew, and then Julian can be crushed. But I don't want Roger he... to leave. I don't want Tamara to leave. I'm sorry. I don't want any of them to leave. The storyline is telling us that somebody's the story leaving. Storyline is dictating so badly. I feel like someone's going by. I don't know how to help you with that. I don't like it. I'm sorry. It's not okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I mean, Julian's kind of boring-ish now, but... Well, I guess that's why I like him with Alexis, was they... I don't know. They had really good chemistry. Mm-hmm. They still did. I mean, even the other day, it was like, again, I wanted them to kiss. That chemistry yeah. was better than him and Kim. I just don't think that she really likes him as much as she wants to like him Mm -hmm. i think she likes him because she's getting older and she hadn't had drew and he's a nice guy and there's nothing wrong with him but i don't think she has that same passion for him that alexis does no i can see that it's a safe choice i feel like yeah and that, that disappoints me. Don't go with the safe choice. Obviously, he's not kissing her the way that Drew did because she doesn't right. make that statement to Monica about him. Did you recognize the accent? Yet? I did. I Thank did. you. Yes. I don't know that I'd call it an accent, though. It was like just a southern accent. I said he talks slower. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't have that twang to it, that southern. But he has. Uh, but, uh, yeah, he has an accent. He's slower, and he's like cowboy. Did I say that it was a southern accent? You just kept saying accent. Yeah. But he's talking with an accent. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Last week I said it was Kennedy-esque. Yes. That's Massachusetts. Okay. See, I feel like it's more southern. It probably is, but I just... The Kennedys have their own way of speaking, so we, they don't even know where they're from. No, but I'd heard it, though. I definitely heard it was yes. different than normal Franco. I will give you that. Yes. I don't know that I'm calling it an accent, but it was different. Yes. So, I don't know. I don't have anything else. That was really, like I said, I think there really wasn't a lot going on. Playing in his story. Peter, I'm not liking where we're going. He told that kid to get his tonsils out. Oh, yeah. Little Boy Scout dude is back. Yeah. That was sweet. That was sweet. What? I don't know. What could Drew possibly have more on him? I don't know. I don't know. He was, he's already admitted that he was totally involved in that storyline. It sounds like there's stuff that we don't know yet, though. But seriously, how much worse could it get? Yeah, I don't... I mean, I, don't I know that's there. a challenge, but... <laughs> so, like, let's, let's show you. Hold my beer. I just don't know. Is there anything we're possibly forgetting from this week? I don't think so. I hope so, because there was nothing. I think the most exciting thing was Julian telling off Brad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I really think that's it. I think that's the only drama moment, other than, is Sasha going to tell Michael? Right. And they tried but, to make the whole Lulu thing suspenseful. Like, Laura's reaction, you would expect to have found another dead body when she opened that door. Well, do you ever want to, A, walk in on people to begin with, and B, Definitely your, daughter, your daughter. No, 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 With no. a guy that you don't know who he is. No, I don't think that that's what my face would have done, though. I think I would have been more like, what the heck? I think I would add some choice words, not that element of surprise face was more like a, Surprise, happy birthday, not surprise, I just walked in on my kid. Oh, see, I took it as a, what on earth is happening? Oh, see, that's not why I read But we'll see how they redo it for Monday anyway, True, because. <laughs> yes, they never reuse the same scene. That's funny. No. <laughs> do, do, do. Reality check. You do your reality first. My reality is boring. It fits the taste mood. It does. Um. I don't even know. Just, it's been kid stuff all week again. 
Island had a cheer game today. They won. They're going to end up making it to the championship, which you would think I would be excited about, but I'm not because that means more games so I have to drag a little bit too. But she'll be happy. When's championships? End of October. Oh, my goodness. That's a whole other month. I know. I know. It's supposed to be done like October 13th or something, and that'll take us all the way to October 27th or something. I don't know. That's only two extra games. Ugh, it's two extra games. Exactly. Um, I... I'm not a sports mom. I'm just not a good sports mom, no matter what. I'm glad she's having fun and it's getting her out there. Good job. But you will never find me in the stands screaming at some kid. It doesn't matter. Well, you shouldn't be. Well, you know what I mean. I know. Even excited. They have one cheer where they say, you know, we've got spirit, blah, blah, blah. How about you? And they point at the stands and then you're supposed to say it back to them. And every week she yells at me because I'm like, oh, yeah, but I have spirit. (laughs) What about you? Like, I'm just not into it. Aww. So I try to, you know, good job. She did her halftime show and like blow her kisses and whatever. I'm watching her. I try to be present, not like on my phone or whatever. But I just, I don't care. It's cheerleading. I don't care. I don't think she's going to grow up to be a Dallas Cowboy cheerleader. I'm not banking on her taking care of me based off of cheering at six. So I'm glad she has fun and that's that. But yeah, that was it. Doctor's appointments, getting school stuff together still because... We're far enough into the school year that we're doing badly enough that I have to argue with people and ground them from their phones and all that kind of stuff. So Great. just mom and hard again this week, which is why I sound so exhausted. And I think I have a cold, but it won't, like, fully go into a cold. Oh, those are the worst. Like, I just have felt those like crap worst. since Tuesday, but it's not enough that, like, mm-hmm. I'm sick. It's just enough that I feel. And you're just begging to get sick. Exactly. So like, that either you can just be knocked out. Or and... be one or the other. Yeah. Yep. I so. Heard. That's been my week. Not nearly as exciting as your stuff. So go ahead. Well, it was my birthday on Friday. So that a lot of stuff was planned. Mm-hmm. So it was dinner on Blanc, which we talked a little bit about last week. With um, It's a dinner where you dress head to toe in white. It's at a secret location. You meet. There's a couple dozen small meeting points oh, wow. where you meet your t- table leaders and then you walk over to the location. Okay. And so this year's secret location was between Heinz Field and the casino. Mm. And it was right down by the river. It was really pretty. You can either bring your own food. So you bring your own table, chairs, linens, centerpieces. You can bring your own food or they do have a catering option. This year I opted for the catering option Heck because yeah. I'm not cooking on my birthday. I saw you use my wagon again. I totally used the <laughs> wagon again. So that was fun. It's just, it's a nice night out. They had, it. the rain held off, which was nice because it was yes. just a storm all week. Well, do they and have a convention? Nope. Plan? It is rain or shine. Bring a poncho or a white raincoat. Wow. Because you are expected to show up, even if it's raining. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, but it was fun. Looking forward to next year. Yesterday, I just did some work. And then today, so Sean Kanan, who is, was AJ Quartermain, wrote a book, well, co-wrote a book with Jill Lieberman, and I think it was released earlier in the year. Oh, I mean, I know it was re- released earlier in the year. It doesn't have the date. Anyway, so they're doing a book tour, and today they were in Pittsburgh on our side, about 15 minutes away at the mall, mm-hmm. and when they scheduled their book tour, they didn't know the Steelers schedule, and so the Steelers started at one, and so did their book signing, mm. and if you're If you are at all familiar with Pittsburgh, things the world stops Mm -hmm. when the Steelers are playing. Except for those of us who really don't care. It's the best time to go grocery shopping. Totally is. And so I went up, and unfortunately, fortunately, I was the only one there. Oh, that's crazy. And well, I don't know if I was the only one there because I got there about 120. There wasn't a line. And Jill, she was intended to be there, but wasn't able to. But I was able to speak with him for about a half hour. That's crazy. So he was going to give a scheduled Q&A session Uh and everything. And so I just, I had the chance to talk his ear off. I kind of had to say, I promise I'm not crazy (laughs) at least (laughs) once or twice. And he did say that we could interview him. So we're going to email him and work out some days and times about you know, and like we did with Bradford, I don't think we ever asked Bradford anything about General Hospital. No, because I just want to know his life. Exactly. So, 
pick up Success Factor X. You can find that on Amazon. And stay tuned for when we're going to be interviewing Sean. All right. Well, so then, on Thursday, we're going to be talking about Jake. Mm -hmm. And it's Jake Spencer, even though you constantly see Weber, it is Jake Spencer officially, I think. Who knows? It kind of redirects you all over the place. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll be talking about Jake. So until then, have a good week. And we'll meet you at the pier. Bye. Bye. If you enjoyed today's show, we invite you to subscribe and follow on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Podcasts, Spotify, or whatever you listen to. Also, please give us a review. This helps us know what you like. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And also, we're not perfect, so if there is something that we messed up or something that we missed, or if there's just something that you want to talk about, let us know by emailing us at peer54podcast at gmail.com.